back here. Another Better Truth Podcast Sunday. How you doing, everybody? Now, we go get into the Titanic. We go break it down and show you some things. And then we're going to talk about the submerge. Yes, it's very important for you to understand this. You know, a lot of people believe in the submerge and all this dumb shit that they give you in today's news. But what you have to understand, the Titanic itself is a hoax. We're going to get into it and break it down and let the masses know. Because when they bring a hoax this big, yes, you can't do one video on it and expect the people to understand. So yes, this podcast is going to dedicate it to this th Titanic right here. We're going to break it all the way down and show you that the world is just a stage. Just make it run. New exclusive photographs, mm -hmm. by far the best yet, are in from the Titanic. Listen. For most of this century, that huge passenger liner has been a dead ship, mm -hmm. resting in an ocean grave that, until these past few days, mm -hmm. no one had seen. Now, scientists have even seen the iceberg damage that doomed the Titanic. So listen right here, people. This take you back in time when they're supposed to be first part this Titanic boat right there after it sink. So pay attention to this right here. Watch. Terry Drinkwater begins our mm -hmm. coverage with the new mm -hmm. underwater photographs. Mm -hmm. Of course it's Drinkwater. Until this underwater. photograph for 73 years, mm -hmm. what happened when the Titanic... And of course they have to do it 73 years after for the code in 73. You have to understand. That's how they do it, people. You have to understand. This is a worldwide hoax. Pay attention. Hit bottom had been a mystery. Mm -hmm. Here, her bow, as it looks today. Mm -hmm. The railing around it, along which millionaires strolled on its maiden voyage. So is understand this, people. That's why they show you that railing. The same one that they show you with the supposedly famous actor. Show you where they're standing right there with the railing. That's what they show you under the water and tell you, yes, that's the Titanic. You have to understand this, people. It's not real. That's just the famous part of the boat. That the mass is going to understand that, yes, it is the Titanic. That's where Leonardo DiCaprio was standing in the damn fake shit they give you for a movie. You understand? It don't base off real shit. It's fake with from the jump. Pay attention Still again. Still intact. Mm -hmm. But below, there is a giant bulge where the double steel hull, considered impregnable by its designers, buckled and broke mm -hmm. when the ship plunged into the total darkness of a deep ocean canyon. Listen, people, and first of all, with this supposed pressure under that water, the same one they tell you that destroyed it, the, 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 the Titan. You have to understand why it didn't destroy this boat, people. Why it just sitting there where they tell you it's the resting place right there, graveyard style. Why it didn't just crush people? Why it just sitting there peacefully under the water where it got all this pressure? You believe it? Okay, let's finish what. His research ship, mm -hmm. two and a half miles above the liner, the expedition's miles. director, mm -hmm. Robert Ballard, described the images historians have waited nearly three quarters of a century Listen. to see. Mm -hmm. The bow sort of took all the beatings and all mm -hmm. the damage mm -hmm. that was done to the bow was in the under part of the bow where the iceberg hit it. The length that they're looking at is a good uh, 30 to 50 feet. The remote control... It shows you nothing, people. Remember, this that they show you right here, that's not a boat on the water. You have to understand what they're showing you right here. Just suppose it be computer image. They can't show you no boat. It's fakery. You understand that? All those photos that they show you, can you recognize a boat? You better wake your ass up. As far as I know, that's just a damn little fish tank they're playing with with a camera. That's what you need to understand. They can't show you under the water that far. You better wake up. How they get there with cameras and get to record with this type of pressure under there two, uh, two and a half miles down. Garbage on. sub with mm -hmm. its cameras aboard then moved from the side of the mm -hmm. Titanic mm -hmm. up to directly above the ship and more pictures. Ship. Are you and of course, people, the boat sit right on the bottom. Listen what I'm saying, people. The boat never flip. It never showed the boat on the side. You understand the supposed to be Titanic that they found? You better wake your ass up. It's sitting on the bottom. <laughs> on the bottom of the... You, 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 you know a boat set up? The boat sits straight up under the bottom of the water with all that pressure. I remember they told you that the boat broke and sink down in the water and it's still sitting on the bottom of the boat. The boat sit down like, like, like it's properly fixed there. It's garbage. Yeah. 
very tip of the uh, Titanic bow, mm -hmm. and a little mass that's coming up towards you mm -hmm. is the uh, mass where they put a little flag. The camera then Another pointed to the bridge people. towards the captain's window. Where the How can you send a camera that deep, people? What the pressure going to do to that camera? What the camera is attached to? It's garbage. The order to abandon ship was given. Mm -hmm. And the boilers, each the size of a two-car garage, by the side of the wreck. Mm -hmm. Ballard is now sure what happened when the Titanic hit bottom. Wow. No doubt about the boilers roared through the bow. Wow, when people, it... can you imagine back then they come and show you this? The dumb people just believe that they see something. I ain't see nothing yet, people. So imagine, 75 years after the Titanic gone missing or crash, these people bring this to the nose, people. Where it's at? What did they show you? Absolutely nothing. And people back then really believed that they saw the Titanic. Wow. I told you, man, they can convince you what you're going to see. And even if they show you nothing, you still think you see it. Wow. Because men cannot dive and work <laughs> long at such depths, the camera subs must be... They can't dive their period. That's what you need to know. No man can dive two miles and change down people in the water, in the ocean. It can't happen. You better wake your ass up. What going to happen to them with that pressure? You're talking about they can't do it for a long time. They can't do it, period. Man. And piloting them through the wreck is Chansey. Mm -hmm. Technicians on the surface aboard the research ship nearly lost a sub when oh. it hit a rigging around one of the Titanic's four towering smokestacks. Wow. It was trying to locate four the huge... Four towering smokestacks. This is what they give you for a big old cruise ship back there and that they tell you that can't sink. They tell you it's unsinkable and then this supposedly happened. An iceberg take it down. Like I tell you, iceberg is a hoax. You can't get ice growing in, in the middle of the ocean, people. You got to understand that there's no point in one side, one part of the water, just one part of the water, have that much cold effect to make an iceberg floating in the water to hit this big old ship right here and take it down. You believe it? It's a hoax from day one. Of the lighter. Wait till I and say. as Ballard mm -hmm. told us tonight, so far, this part of the mission has failed. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still searching for the stern. Uh, we can't Listen. find it. You believe it them, does people? appear to be disconnected. The search for the rest of the Titanic mm -hmm. can continue only until week's end when the research ship leaves for home port what ahead of the North Atlantic winter uh -huh. storms. Terry Drinkwater, CBS News, St. John's, wow, Newfoundland. Terry the Titanic, mm -hmm. grand, powerful, confident, and soon to be two and a half miles under the sea. Mm -hmm. But it has floated in the world's imagination for 73 years. You hear that, people? It floats in your imagination. You don't get it. That boat never exists. Just remember, now people's got a lot of theories to these things right here, to this supposed to be Titanic, but you have to understand... The real theory is it never happened. <laughs> you better understand this boat never exists. It never basically go to sea and lost or crash. Just a hoax they give the masses. And can you believe that they're still talking about it today? Wow, can you imagine? That's a big old masterpiece of the government fakery. The Titanic mm -hmm. was the first liner and the last liner anyone ever called unsinkable. You hear that? Why would they call it unsinkable, people? You make a boat, gonna put it in the water, why would you call it unsinkable? Does that make sense, people? Why would you call a boat unsinkable? Unbelievable. That's the reason why they give you this hoax with an unsinkable boat sinking the bottom of the water. What a dumb shit. this magnificent ship, which is the most magnificent ship in the state, you hear that? actually sink completely. Mm -hmm. Everyone on board wasn't so sure. There were exceptions. Mm -hmm. You see, my mother refused to go to bed in that ship mm -hmm. because she had this premonition, um, solely based on the fact that she said that to declare a vessel unsinkable was flying in the face of God. Mm -hmm. If the Titanic were around today, it would be doing package tours to the Caribbean. Yeah. The world that went down that starry night featured a jet set that sailed the seas. Gentlemen who dressed for dinner and offered women and children their places in the lifeboats. Imagine. In a way, it was, um, it was a premonition of the First World War. It was a sign that an era was coming to an end. Uh, and it uh, made people aware of the consequences of 
uh, excessive confidence. Mm -hmm. The Titanic taught a civilization. That's part of the world stage, people. Just like they give you the pandemic and then they tell you, yes, you can move around now. And then they give you a lot of disaster behind it. You have to understand that that's how it is. The world never changed, people, from what they used to do from day one. They still do it. The manipulation continues of the damn people. That is a dangerous mm -hmm. world we live in, that mm -hmm. there are icebergs. Look at this right there, people. About dangerous world we live in, an iceberg. What a dumb shit, people. The body of water is actually warm. They can't fool me because I got common sense. You better remember that. There's no way you can go an iceberg in the middle of the water. And if they're going to tell you that that break off from some ice glacier and then float all the way in the water to go in deep sea and get to hit a boat, that's bullshit. Wake your ass up. Like I said, the body of water is warm. If you have a piece of ice break off from some place where they got ice, which is nowhere near there. And the ice going to float all the way into that supposed part of the ocean. To crash this boat right here, people. You believe it? And a big old iceberg there, but they could never see it until they actually hit it when it's too late. You believe it, people? And it takes down the boat, and the boat is sitting peaceful under the bottom of the water, two and a half miles down. What a dumb shit. lurking in the night. It brought many fears to the surface. Mm -hmm. But what about the Titanic itself? Mm -hmm. well, 1,500 souls down there. 1,500 right on the money. For your number six, 1,500 souls under the water just sitting there. Do you get it, people? You believe that? First of all, let me tell you something about bodies. You can't stay under the water. When a body, when somebody dies, their body actually releases some gas. Remember that? Okay, when the body releases that gas, it's coming back to the surface. Do you understand that? You can't just have a sinking body. That's bullshit. 100% bullshit. What happened to all those people that supposedly die? They're going to float back to the top of the water. Don't give me no bullshit right here. Like I say, I only use common sense to break down these trash that they you. give you. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Dream about it, but don't mm -hmm. touch. See that? The Titanic was the ship it. that sailed blithely off into the night and mm -hmm. was never seen again until this week. What a dumb Bob shit. Bob Simon, CBS News. Mm -hmm. New York. American mm -hmm. scientists who led the team that found the Titanic mm -hmm. today released the cream of the crop of thousands of... Do you hear that, people? is scientists, people. Remember what scientists is? Scientists run experiment, and then you see the result. That's science. So what scientists doing on a boat are supposed to be looking for the supposed to be lost boat, lost Titanic. What that got to do with scientists? You don't get it. It's fake shit. Water photographs. Mm -hmm. Among them haunting and poignant reminders of life on the Great Liner as it crossed the ice-cold Atlantic for the first wow. and last time. Ice cold Atlantic. Terry Drinkwater what a reports. dumb shit. And drink water The again. most detailed secrets yet mm -hmm. of the doomed luxury liner were revealed people. in a series mm -hmm. of photographs released today in Washington. Look, people, this is photograph under the water. Them site is supposed to be Titanic boat. You believe it, people? It's a hoax. If you don't have any brain, let me tell you this. This is a hoax. This never happened worldwide government hoax and to show you that it is one of the biggest hoax they ever give you it never stops it continues with the supposed to be missing titan it's a reason why they call it titan and the damn titanic you gotta understand Fake robert shit. ballard who discovered mm -hmm. the, the permit on the hat right there how did you discover the per the, the supposed to be boat in the water two and a half miles down how did you just discover it it's not like it's easy to get there. Nick said he almost lost his robot sub, the Argo, just after it took this picture. What's it called? Robot sub, the Argo. The Argo. Wow, I told you all of them name of Greek devil. 100% in. After it took this mm -hmm. picture of the front smokestack, which had lie. collapsed. What the sub lie, was heading people. aft towards the second upright stack. Mm -hmm. It scared the dickens out of me when we bounced Look Argo off that stack. Right there, stack didn't do a thing. A little paint came wow. off. We do have some titanic paint on Argo. Mm -hmm. you have video some, camera. They have some titanic paint on Argo. Yes, the damn shit that they send down, they have some paint on it off the titanic. And that's what they tell you for you to believe that they actually go there and find the fucking fake boat that they tell you ledge up in the water. Focus what down fake shit. onto the bridge from mm -hmm. above. There's the bridge mm -hmm. right here. There's the awning. I'm really getting close. What a you see the heaving people. action. This was very scary. 
wow. as the vehicle comes up what and down the ship. roll of the ship. In the center here, windows of the luxury smoking salon ripped from the hull, mm -hmm. and the crane arm, which held one of the Titanic's lifeboats. Mm -hmm. There were only a third of the number of lifeboats needed. Some men in life jackets jumped over these railings of the ship mm -hmm. to survive only briefly in the freezing Atlantic. The ship wow. is now two and a half miles. Wow, the Atlantic Sea is so freezing. They die in there. They have on life vest. They didn't drown. It was just too cold, so they die. You believe it, people? Wow. So you telling me that, people, if you're passing through the Atlantic water right now in a boat, it's frozen water? You better wake your ass up with this trash. 100% garbage. They're not telling you no truth when it comes to the shit that they give you for entertainment, because that's all it is. Down. Mm -hmm. Very little marine life, but here's yeah. a... A small fish, maybe mm -hmm. three feet long. Yes, of course. Swimming quietly. Three feet long. Take a look at the fish that they're showing you. That's a fish? This right there they show you. Is that a fish? You better wake up. Like I say, back then they used this to fool the people. If they can fool them today, think about what, what can they do to them back then. Real easy to tell them lies. Over the bow. Many in the crew were asleep below mm -hmm. in the bow when the ship hit the iceberg. What a dumb ship. But above in the grand salons, mm -hmm. the formal galas were still in progress. Mm -hmm. The most elegant here. The roof apparently imploded when the Titanic hit bottom. Mm -hmm. Before the ship set sail, this is the way the room looked. Mm -hmm. And now scattered on the ocean floor amid chunks of the Titanic's coal, a silver tray from the private dining room used by the millionaires. You hear that, people? These are the... I don't understand. Why did you believe it, people? I hate to do these videos with people who don't have no IQ, man. Are you dumb? So this... Of all the supposed be things that's on the boat, there's part of a silver plate. Yes, because it's rich people on there. And it's dumb, people. It's 100% dumb. Like I tell you, nothing real about the Titanic... It's just as real as the damn movie. You understand that? It is fake. And by the way, they did make a movie before that. Don't be thinking that the one you see with Leonardo DiCaprio was the first movie they make of the Titanic. As a matter of fact, one month after the wreck, they did the movie. I'm not lying, people. Maybe about two to three months after. Two to three months after, this supposed to be Titanic wreck. They did have a movie about it. And guess what, people? Somebody that was actually survived, that actually survived the Titanic and get saved, was the star of that movie. Was in the movie in the same supposed to be dress that they supposed to be rescue her in. She show up in the movie and everything. Did you believe it, people? The I don't get it, man. So a boat lost at sea and in two to three months you make a movie about it already? You better wake your ass up. The whole thing is a hoax. Just like they tell you now they see a silver pan right there under the bottom of the water. The Masters and the Guggenheims mm -hmm. and the rest. What a dumb Nearby thing. bottles and bottles of, of wine. Mm -hmm. French Bordeaux and of Spanish course. ports. How did these wine make it to the bottom of the ocean with that pressure, man? You can't go there in a Titan make out a titanium and, and, and carbon fiber because it crush it and kill everybody, it implode. And a fucking bottle of wine still sitting there. I'm done, people. You better wake your ass up. The whole thing is a hoax. Like I say, they will say anything out their mouth to convince you that this is real. And by doing that, they're actually telling the smart people that it is 100% hoax. Like I say, only facts are deal with common sense. So these bottles of wine sitting on the surface of the water with all that pressure. Somebody need to tell me if they still believe in the Titanic boat after I hit them with a bam. Where they have been for 73 years. 73 these years, shoes people. were also on the Titanic. And there you go again. Just like I tell you with the oily cast is a hoax people. This is how they do it. They're going to bring things to pull on your heartstring. It's not real. They give you the September 11 bullshit. They can tell you they find somebody's shoe. This is how they do it, people, to pull on your heartstring. Yes, the water don't, don't disintegrate the body and leave the shoe right there. Leather shoe. 
The bones and everything is disintegrate by water. And the shoe is still there intact. Brand new like. I'm done. Make that night. They belong to Louise Pope. And of course, they can know who exactly was who the shoes belong to. They can tell you exactly who owned those shoes. Mm. And you still believe that it's a real event. You don't get it. It's a fucking fake shit. Then four, wow. on her way to America with her mother and father. Unbelievable shit. Today, she looked at the photographs mm -hmm. and remembered back. Of course they do. We were in bed already when we struck the iceberg. Look, so, people dead already when they struck the iceberg. Anybody that tell you they was in there, from back then when you watch it, remember I did videos and break them down. The crisis actors that tell you they on there. Nothing real about it. You better understand that. None of these oaks can pass the mag. Pay attention again. Back. We were in bed already when we struck the iceberg. Mm -hmm. So, of course, she put the shoes on and wrapped me in a blanket and mm -hmm. up we went. Wow. We in the water and you know that you're going to go in water and you grab shoe. <laughs> the boat is sinking and you need shoes. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know you're going to touch ground again. You're sinking in the middle of nowhere. All water around. And you worry about a shoe, so you can identify it later to pull on the masses' heart string. Second last robot, there was one more after we got on. Wow. Ballard concluded today wow. that many more could have been saved if another ship, the Californian, which was as close as five miles away, had come ship. to the rescue. And what happened? Why they didn't? Needn't have died. If they'd only responded wow. to those distress flares. What a dumb shit for the masses, like I say. From back then, they're giving you these stories of the Titanic, pulling on your heartstring. And now they finally tell you somebody. Five people trying to get there in a Titan, supposedly, and never make it back onto the surface. Move. The Titanic Take a look at this the darkness. Darkness. People, You're getting this from Ocean Gate right there. The supposed exploration of this supposed Titanic right there. And guess what, people? They can't show you no footage of this shit from afar. Why? Why you have to be that close up? Please tell me, people, why gotta be this close up to the boat? Remember, you're coming from two and a half miles up. You didn't get no footage when you're coming down to the to the supposed be wreckage. Only when you get close, you can get this footage. It's bullshit. Why not take it from a distance so you can see the whole boat, where it's sitting, how it sit and everything? No. Only thing they're going to do is zoom it up like they're doing a fish tank and to try to convince you that it's a ocean. <laughs> Come on. Iron-eating bacteria attached to the steel. Iron-eating bacteria? You better wake up. That salt will destroy that boat, period. It can't be on a day that long. You understand? But you're finding shoes. What they're made out of. You better wake your ass up. If you're living near the sea, people, you don't have to put the car in there. Or your house or anything that made out of iron and them things. It was rusty and rotten. You better understand the salt air coming from that sea. We rotten everything close. You better remember you're going to notice your car is more rustier. Even though you're not driving it in the damn water. Why? Because it's salt. That's what it do. It deteriorates shit. Rotten it. Tear it all the way down. There is no way you can find this shit right here. After hundreds of years, it's bullshit. Wake your ass up. And of course, they're showing you that popular railing right there. Once you see that, because you're dumb, you watched the movie already, and it got you. So of course, you're going to look at this and say, yeah, I remember this. This is where Leonardo DiCaprio was standing in the damn fake shit they give you for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Take a look. What a dumb shit, people. you got to be kidding me. Mm-hmm. Yes, and make films. Mm -hmm. There you go, people. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this right here. Like I don't tell you, famous part of the boat right there in the movie. So that's why they tell you, yes, we find the boat and then show you this close-up shot. Hmm? Okay, tell me where the, where the iceberg hit the boat. Where is the iceberg hit? Did it hit the front? Or hit the back? Hit the side? If you're going to crash into an iceberg, that means you hit it dead on, straight forward. And you still have this piece left. Why this piece never damaged from the big old iceberg that you run into? It is a hoax. Like I say, hoax they make up for the dumb people with no brain. Look at this shit right here. 
I already told you. What is that right there, people? What is that? Wow. Mm. Those ones are coming out of the center hose pipe. But the center anchor chain would have come through. Mm -hmm. Listen. You see, when you're close to things, people, when you're too close to something with a camera, people might not get to identify what it is, people. So you're smart. You have to back off. So we can see that it is about where it sit, how it sit, and everything. But they can't. They only can show you these zoomed up, supposed to be footage of the Titanic. What that tell you? It's not there. It's a fake shit for the dumb masses. And now you're going to tell people to, you're going to take down tight Titans to supposed to be visit it and get people to see it. And then bam, they gone missing. Because this is fake and the public can't prove it. The public can't go two and a half miles down in the water. So they can run any side up on you right there. Remember. We're now approaching the forward ratings mm -hmm. of the very prow of the Titanic. Look at this shit right here, people. And we can see more rusticles. Wow, drip. people. You can see rusticles. Look at this right here. They show you rust dripping. Now look at the railing right there in the middle. This two line that you see right there. Why they don't rust? Hmm? I'm telling you, just common sense. And it will set you free when you use your common sense. It leads you to the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, did the truth set you free of this madness that they're giving you? This show that they're putting on, does the truth set you free yet from it? Because if not, you're trapped into this deception. 100% with this Titanic bam. Those railings and a small little bamboo coral. Mm -hmm, a bamboo and it's still there, people. Bamboo. <laughs> I'm done. Chink forward. Done. Bullshit. All bullshit. And take a look, people. This what that clear the smoke up is still there. Remember, it's aloe. Why it didn't cave in, people, with the pressure? Why the boat is still intact, people? Why? How the boat will stay intact? I guess the same way the boat will stay unbroken with that kind of pressure sitting on it. The whole ocean, two and a half miles down. Okay, people, they got busted. Like I say, any one of these big oaks they bring. I never stop. I want the masses to get it clearly to the head. Not only the Titan is a hoax, the Titanic is a 100% hoax from day one. Nothing real about it. Nothing. Just above it, you can see mm -hmm. the crane. There you go. Uh huh. The crane. <laughs> wow, people. There you go. He's just shaking his toe on the okay, I'm going to ask you one thing. Go oh, hold on, people. I got them again. I bust them again. <laughs> Oh, they got busted again by the bitter truth. Watch this, people. Take a look at current under the water. <laughs> Remember, people, this depth of the water have no current. You have to remember, we're talking about under the bottom of the water, people. Two and a half miles down. Now, chip in your common sense real fast. Kick it in. Tell me that you have current with all these shit moving and floating around down there. That's current, people. Why would current be that much depth? Two and a half miles down with that much pressure there. Why you see bubbles, people? What is this happening? That's current. What? <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable, people. That deep, and believe it or not, that deep in the water is pitch dark. 100% pitch dark. Remember, where the water would I get the light from? The sky. You remember that? The sky with the sun and everything. So, when you go a certain amount of feet down, it becomes darkness. The sun don't shine down there, people. <laughs> the sun don't shine two and a half miles down in the water. That means pitch darkness. What is this thing showing you? Okay, let's watch. That's current, people. There go the shit moving to one direction. 
that's current that you can't have two and a half miles down in deep waters. It can't happen. So pay attention again. They got bust. There you go, people. Where is these things moving to? Where is these flares are looking light or whatever moving to right there? Why is it moving? No current under the water. Pay attention. Coming into view as we travel along the port mm -hmm. or left side, we can see wow. one of the anchor chains. Wow. Unbelievable, people. In the distance on the right hand side, mm -hmm. some marine bollards. And a very large bronze capstan comes into view. Mm -hmm. Wow. Once they go this far to show you fakery, to convince you that it's real, the only thing they're going to do is expose themselves to the people with brain and can think a little bit better. It's still glistening and shining mm -hmm. after 111 years. Yes, it's still glistening and shining after 111 years. And guess what, people? It's on the salt water. Huh? Wow, you don't get it, people. The water is so salty, you can extract salt from it. If you take some of this water right here, throw it in the, in, in, on the ground and leave it in the sun for a while, it becomes salt. That's how salty the water is. And you find something still shining under there after 111 years for your number three. On okay. the seabed. Uh -huh, on the seabed. The anchor chains are now moving there yeah. towards the windlasses where they would have pulled them back down into the chain locker at the bottom of the ship. Look at this right here, people. Now, with this depth right here again, what is this? They, what kind of vessel they're in, people? What kind of vessel they're in with a glass that, that cleared so you can see outside with a camera? Remember, the pressure is down there. It's dangerous, people. You can't really go there with no glass. You can't travel in nothing with There's glass. No way a camera can go this depth right here, people, with them seeing this big old view. What kind of glass they have looking to this deep in the water, people? And give you this clear vision, this clear, clear view of the supposed to be Titanic underwater. How could they do that, people? It's impossible. Fake shit. Comes into view. Wow. Mm -hmm. And on top of that is a memorial plaque. Yeah, that a memorial plaque. That was left on a previous expedition mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah, that people saw. So some people die that try to explore this boat right here again. They tell you that people die trying to explore it. And they're trying that again in 2023. Listen. Over on the left-hand side, we can see the entrance into hold number one. Mm -hmm. This whole deck area is known as the focal deck. What looks like a wall there mm -hmm. in the background is, a, is actually a breakwater or a wave break as mm -hmm. it's described this wave would have break. deflected large waves that were breaking over the bow of the ship and deflect them away to the sides what a dumb shit people wow So what is these things that they're showing you right here, people? What is these supposed to be? With something sitting on there right there, still there? Unbelievable. Let's now see. we have a closer uh -huh. view of that memorial plaque mm -hmm. on memorial the caps. Mm -hmm. We're now making our way, passing number one hold. Mm -hmm. And just behind number one hold are the steam winches that would have been used to lift items and objects out of the holes. Mm -hmm. So take a look at this right here, people. This is what they give you for the exploration of the damn Titanic. Take a look at this right here, people. In the depths of the water, they go there and they video this shit right here and to give you plain as day to show you the Titanic wreckage right there. Take a look at it, people. Did you see nothing that you would have recognized and about yet? 
is 100% fake. Well, like I said, this is a reason why they have to go this close. Take a look at this right there. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Just there on the left hand side, you can see a bent, shiny bar. Mm -hmm. That bar, we believe, is the remains of the linkage that brought the steering wheel connection to the forward steering wheel at the bridge. Mm -hmm. This great shot gives us a whole panoramic view of that area. Take a look, people, because like I say, still don't see nothing that would have shown me a boat under the water. And there's no way they could have any kind of camera system that can go this deep and record this shit right here. What is they seeing it to, people? A glass, perplex, and it's this clear that you can see the dam supposedly wreckage this clear? Take a look, people. What did they use to go this deep in the water? And come back up. What did they use? Since they supposed to be tightened. Already got. You know crushed from trying this shit right here. And they do this back in the days. Again. You can see right down there mm -hmm. two. Hanging chandeliers. You hear that people? Even chandeliers. Stay intact. You hear that? With all that pressure people. The chandeliers stay intact. All this shit to prove. That it is the Titanic and everything they give you on it is on there. Listen. Mm -hmm. Again, rising up here, we can see the remains of more rising uh, up. Mm -hmm. ventilation mm -hmm. chunks. got nothing for the masses take a look at this and then you can understand there's nothing real about it so with all the shit they're showing you take a look people and see what remind you of the titanic supposedly boat that record reminding us of the great tragedy that occurred mm -hmm. now we are approaching on the starboard or the right hand side of the ship. Looking at the cabin room windows on the beach. Do you notice how long they dare people? They dare all this time moving around the ship in that depth of the water people? They so comfortable just recording it? What a dumb shit move. Look at this right here people. You won't find bodies at mm -hmm. Titanic. Uh, you mm -hmm. won't find skeletons. Listen. The bones actually dissolve into solution very rapidly at that. You hear that, people? The bones dissolve into solution very rapidly. They know that that the, the salt water supposed to dissolve those bones and everything, people. But you can find everything else. Pay attention. What anybody who's explored the wreck finds mm -hmm. is pairs of shoes. You see that? Oh, can you do that, people? Oh, can you find pair of shoes, people? That you tell the people that a body was in it. Somebody was wearing the shoe. The person disintegrate. And the shoe still sitting right there in the sand. You believe it people? Can you believe that? What the salt water going to do to these leather shoes people? Wow. After all these years. That it's there enough to melt the body. It's there long enough to dissolve the body. And the shoe still right there. You believe it? This is to pull on your heartstring. They know how to get to you. That's why the masses believe in this shit so strong. Because of these details that they tell them. All bullshit. It takes years for a skeleton to vanish. Mm -hmm. But the shoes. And look at his hat, people. Take a look at his hat. He got the star on there, right there. This is what represents the ocean gates. Pay attention here. Treated mm -hmm. with tannic acid. Tannic acid. They won't mm -hmm. eat him. Mm -hmm. So all Go around... Back. To vanish, but the shoes treated with tannic acid. Treated with tannic acid. They won't acid. eat them. So all around the Titanic are the they shoes. Won't eat them. Take a look at this right there, people. A diamond with a cross on it. Yes, it's sitting on the bottom of the surface. And look at the surface, people. Can you believe the water that deep? And this is the surface. That's what the surface look like in the sea, people. Where is the fucking sand? trying to tell you man 
Why you think the bam is on? Can't fool me with nothing. Where is the sand? Is that sand right there on the bottom? Take a look at what they show you for the ocean bottom, people. What is that? Mud? You gotta be kidding me. Where is the sand, people? Okay, so this deep in the water don't have no sand. Okay, I got you. This deep in the water carry muck and mud, shoes and all of these debris. But he don't carry sand, right? Okay, I got you. I got you now. Mm -hmm. Where's the sand, people? There's a scene where we were filming. It's a scene. It's a scene, people, when they was filming. Listen. And we came across mm -hmm. a pair of women's shoes. Yeah. Wow. Next to a pair of girls' shoes. These wow. Were and don't worry about it, people. They, they, they're exactly the spot where the people was wearing them disintegrate. Do you understand? Yes, they can tell you about an adult and a baby was close by. Both of them shoes was the same spot right there. Listen, again. Those were people. Those shoes got to the Those bottom. Double down. On people. They were on in their people, cabin. you see? Yeah. They know. Because the cabin mm -hmm. was all around the destruction of it. Mm -hmm. And there was a hand mirror. This Watch is the human people. element. This is wow. what people touched. It's what they lived. This is why they touch you with it, people. This is how they get to touch you with it. With these details. And that's the reason why they make the movie nobody dumb in order for this story to touch you in the right way they have to make a movie with that fucking music in it and everything to pull on your heartstring for you to buy in you can't escape this psyop because they come in full force with it that's what you need to understand so the movie will get your heart and your emotion involved in it and of course you're gonna believe it so when they come and tell you a titan gone missing with five billion years, of course you're going to take that story and run, have it consume your whole mind. What a dumb shit for the masses. Like I say, they're not exploring shit. You better understand that they're not exploring nothing. They just want to convince the masses of something that not even real did happen. Move. Look at this right here, people. Rare images of the Titanic. Yes, people. The Titanic still sitting down there peacefully. Meaning it's sitting on the bottom, people. At the bottom of the, the boat is, it got a bottom and a top. It didn't fall on the top. It didn't fall on the side. It fall on the bottom and sit right up. And take a look. Like I said, these things did never crush under pressure. Come on, people, this is bullshit. At peace on the ocean floor were peace. released this week. Mm -hmm. Some of the footage shot during the 1986 expedition to the world's most famous shipwreck that, has people? never been seen before by the public. Yes, and of course they went there, record it, and keep it a secret, and now they're bringing it to the masses. Can you believe it, people? This is Hollywood. The same way they give you the moon landing and every other fake shit that control your life. Again. The expedition's leader, Robert Ballard, described mm -hmm. what he saw. Mm -hmm. And then we came in Listen, on... take a look at him again, people. He got this cross on him right there, the sign. The cross with the damn star. That's what they use right there for their coding. Pay attention to this trickery right here and the dumb masses. The starboard behavior. side of beam of the mm -hmm. bridge. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I saw coming uh -huh. out of the gloom at Robert 30 Ballard. feet was this wall. Mm -hmm. This giant wall... Listen of riveted steel that, that rose over a hundred and some feet Listen. above us. Listen. I never looked down Listen. at the Titanic. I looked up at the Titanic. Bam! That's a bam. So you're coming from out of the ocean which is up. Right? And then while you're coming down you never get a chance to see the Titanic from up. Words, where you're coming from. You got to go all the way and you stand up on the floor of the dam. You have to go to the floor of the ocean and then look up on the Titanic. Hmm. Is that real, people? He coming from up from day one. Never take a look at the Titanic from up. But he go all the way down to the ocean floor so he can look at the Titanic from down, upwards. You believe it? Again, all right. Some feet above us. I never looked down at the Titanic. <laughs> I looked up. 
at the Titanic. Wow, Nothing was small. Wow. And as we rose up, it's Nothing was small. And take a look at the supposedly fish that they're showing you. And remember, I did a video on the supposedly Mariana Trench, and they show you some animated fish. <laughs> Just to make you understand that, hey, even though they look animated, they're real because it's a depth of the ocean that you can't understand some weird creature there. What a dumb shit. Listen, watch this. As we rose up its side, mm -hmm. because we had to abort the dive at that point because we were taking water into that? our batteries. They was taking in water into their bad. Remember, people, it's hard to go this far down in the water. They're taking in water into the battery. What a dumb shit for the masses. As we rose up after uh -huh. that first dive that lasted just minutes, mm -hmm. we began to see the portholes. And it was like people looking back at us. Wow. It was pretty haunting. Actually. There you go, people. It was like people looking back at them from the ship, people. Because remember, they tell you 1,500 people for your number six is still there. Listen. It took researchers decades to find the doomed ocean liner. Mm -hmm. The research expedition's engineer explained look, why... Look, people, look what they're showing you just like space. And believe it or not, this fake shit is tied to fake space. Remember, space is fake. And one of the guys that tell you that they, they went to space is also in the blue or that went to space in the blue origin also in the Titanic, supposed to be submerged, the Titan. You understand that? So what's going on with space tied to this fake shit? Take a look at how they travel. Same way they show you space. You don't get it or what, people? It's fake it shit. It was such a challenge. <laughs> Titanic lies mm -hmm. uh, in a part of the ocean mm -hmm. that you would describe as an abyssal plain. Uh -huh. uh, it's over 13,000 feet uh -huh. deep of in the ocean. You know. mm -hmm. uh, the water is uh, near freezing temperatures. Mm -hmm. Why is the water in the deep ocean freezing it's bullshit like i say people the water is not frozen the sea is a warm body of water not saying some part of it can be cold but not that cold just like they tell you iceberg farm there and if you put a bucket of a water in a refrigerator you will never grow a berg you will see ice sheet grow on the top until it get freezing enough to go all the way to the bottom and freeze the whole thing. But you will never see a bird grow in the middle of water. It is a hoax in the hoping. How the fuck you going to get that to happen? It is a hoax. Now you're talking about freezing temperature. But it's not freezing at the top of the surface. It's under the bottom. What would make under the water freeze or cold? Why? Why would the water under the bottom colder than the one on top? Okay, it's bullshit. Wait, and ass probably the down. biggest challenge uh, is the remoteness of the location. Mm -hmm, of and course. In particular, mm -hmm. the harsh uh, mm -hmm. environment uh, yes. with regard to the pressure. Mm -hmm. that, uh, regard to the pressure. That's why they can fool you with anything there because you can't prove it. You can't go there and prove these things, people. With that depth of the water, they say they got problem going there. You think you can make it there? Our okay. uh, right. equipment is exposed to. Mm -hmm. So every mm -hmm. square inch or centimeter mm -hmm. is being uh, mm -hmm. uh, pressed into uh -huh. a smaller space by that? the crushing pressures of the ocean. Uh -huh. That's yes. kind of death. So how did y'all get those footage? How did y'all get to visit this site so many times, people? How would they do that? Hoax on what the expedition's cameras captured mm -hmm. wasn't just rusting metal. Mm -hmm. It was a graveyard. Mm -hmm. When the Titanic sank graveyard. on her maiden mm -hmm. voyage in 1912, mm -hmm. some 1,500 people perished in the disaster. Mm -hmm. uh, you were you physically seen uh, their remains, mm -hmm. uh, which were eaten away and, and the bones dissolved. So you hear that, people? He said you was physically looking at the, at the remains. You hear that? So he saw them. Listen, go back. Uh, you were physically seen mm -hmm. uh, their remains, mm -hmm. uh, which were eaten away and, and the bones dissolved. But oh, sitting there were wow. pairs of shoes. What a dumb uh, shit. Eaten away. The body eaten away and the shoes stay right there in place, left and right. So the, what after the shit. Titanic sank, mm -hmm. those that went into the water mm -hmm. that didn't have life jackets died of hyperthermia. Mm -hmm. And their bodies came <laughs> raining down. So the body come raining down, people, in this pressure of water. The body come raining down. Do you believe that, people? 
Wow, unbelievable dumb like shit. Like tombstones all over mm -hmm. the ocean floor. Mm -hmm. A mother shoes with her baby yes, shoes. Yes, you see that was fine uh, exactly I mean, very beside each other. Imagery to mm -hmm. see where these people came to rest. Mm -hmm. And again, reinforcing that you were at a very sacred site mm -hmm. where so many people died. Uh, yes, they're running a sacred site where so many people die. You believe it? Move. Now watch this right here, people, as they show you this satanic shit right here and tell you it's underwater. It's not real, people. Remember this shit. Like I tell you, no camera can go this deep and record this shit. It's fakery. 100%. And what the camera attached to, what kind of device holding the camera and going around this boat. It's fake shit. And pay attention and expose them right here with this Titan. Pay this attention. This Titan. Mm -hmm. which is a carbon fiber and titanium sub mm -hmm. that can go to the depths of the Titanic. You hear that? Pay attention here, people. Watch this. Hi, my name is Stockton Rush. I'm the CEO mm -hmm. and founder of OceanGate. Let's take a look. Take a look, people. He's the supposed to be finder and the CEO of OceanGate. And once you hear the Ocean Gate, you know already it's 100% government fakery they got for the masses. You understand anything it gates on it? government fakery now take a look at this character right here he gonna suppose he be show you the submerge let's take a look at it people watch look at titan mm -hmm. titan he call it look so we're coming into the sub mm -hmm. this is the only toilet available look, on people. a deep diving submersible yes people remember the same thing i show you with space with them supposedly we call them out how did you have that space center and you just live in it with no toilet or nothing. And they say, yeah, we got the toilet. All of a sudden, they start showing exhibitions, showing you what the toilet is and how they use it. Take a look. The submerge of a toilet right here. He says the best seat in the house. And they're not even showing that on camera. They're basically not showing you. Take a look at I'm it right here. I'm the CEO and founder of OceanGate. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at Titan. Mm -hmm. St. John's. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So we're they go the toilet as soon as you pop in. What does it connect to people? Take a look, it show your hose go right there. You believe it? Like I say, it's nothing real here. The same way they fool you about they go to space, they fooling you with this Titan right here, gonna take you to the Titanic. It's a hoax. Wake your ass up. And this gonna prove it, put a nail in the damn car. Into the sub, this is the only toilet mm -hmm. yes, available don't show on it. a deep diving submersible. Mm -hmm. Best seat. When he open it, he hide it. The camera don't show it, people. Why not? Move, it's house, bullshit. You can look out the viewport. Yes. We put a privacy screen in, mm -hmm. turn up the privacy music. Privacy screen. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, very popular. Mm -hmm. Very popular. And we have our uh, control screen here, Watch our people. sonar screen here, mm -hmm. and we can put any image we want in the back. Bam. Did he just say that, people? Okay, go back. <laughs> wow, this is getting funny and funnier, people. Now take a look at what they're traveling, people. Where is the seat? The best seat in the house, they got one seat and it's a toilet. The one seat in there is a toilet, people. Now take a look at this right here, people. Watch this. We have our uh, control screen Control here. screen, control screen. Take a look at this right here, people. How did they monitor? I suppose they be manage this shit right here after they go in it to go down to the deep waters. How did they handle it? Take a look. Our sonar screen here. Bam. Now this screen right here is what you're seeing outside. You hear what he say? <laughs> he say he can put anything on it. So you see what it is? I'm done. This expose them, people. Okay, let me calm down. Understand what they're saying right here. The man say, this is a screen that they use to see outside. They're not looking to a glass, people. They're seeing it to a screen. They see it on a screen. So basically, the apparatus set up got to be a camera on the outside of the, this 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 Titan right here, and then you see what ever the camera see on a screen. But no, he say he can put anything he want on that screen. Now let's let's understand it first. This is what you supposed to be seeing. How can you put anything on that screen? Okay, the reason why he say that is because nothing real about the whole thing again and uh it's uh, very popular we have our uh, control screen here our sonar screen here mm -hmm. and we can put any image we want in the back we can put any image we want in the back and bam look what he show you as the controller of the titan 
I'm not lying, people. You see when I see this? Because when I did the videos on YouTube, I, I hear people commenting and they were like, Mag, it's some kind of video game shit. I'm like, I need to take a look into that. People not just going to just say that without something behind it. So I start looking in deeper into it. And there you go, people. This is what I found. So it's not a lie when they tell you they're actually using a PlayStation controller to control the Titan. You're sitting it with no seat. Five people in there with one toilet and no seat. And then here you go. This is what they're going to use to control it. I suppose it be old school PlayStation controller that not even work properly. When you buy these controllers, remember it's not an original controller that come with a PlayStation. It's an aftermarket make it. So that means the connection is slow and everything. The communication is slow. It suck. It whack. How can you use it to control? A damn underwater vessel, people. Unbelievable. Nothing real. And because it's a mockery, that's why they throw this in there for your dumb people who don't understand shit. They throw that in there on your ass. You believe the story, they throw this in there to mock you. You don't believe me or what? They show you all this shit operate to mock the people who believe in it. You can't tell me shit. In a completely new approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller what? and these touch screens. How could they run by a game controller, people? How could this shit run by a game controller? You gotta be kidding me. Where is the video game? So they just playing with your dumb ass? PlayStation style. So Move. If you want to go forward, you press forward. Listen. If you want to go back, huh? you go back. You gotta turn be left, kidding turn me. right, go down, go up. Just and like it's that. it's Bluetooth, so I can hand it to anybody. Huh? And it's meant for a 16-year-old. Yes, it's Bluetooth. He can hand it to anybody. He throw it down on the ground and say, made for a 16-year-old to manhandle. And it's still good. And guess what? Listen. Around and super durable. We keep a Do couple it. of spares on board just in case. <laughs> <laughs> it's super durable people and they keep a couple extra ones on board just in case one of them broke or malfunction. Can you believe it people? This is this is the end of it. It's done. There go your Titan people. It never happened. They go, they ain't got no Titan. They ain't got no damn Titanic. The Titanic is a hoax. Anything spring off it is also fake. That's what you need to understand. Don't be thinking nothing real about this. Now take a look at the CEO at the Ocean Gate and you understand what I'm saying. It's a government fakery. Would you believe in this guy to go in his damn vessel to go down two and a half miles down? It's bullshit. Bullshit. This is the second year we've been out to the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, we went uh -huh. out in uh, five uh, eight-day missions. Uh -huh. We did uh, about ten missions. dives to the ten wreck dives. site of the Titanic, uh -huh. and we did an extra dive on an undiscovered reef that we Listen. found. Wow. Completely privately funded um, mm -hmm. operation, and we're privately funded by funded. we call mission specialists who help mm -hmm. support the mission. So they take quite a bit of money to come and join us. Yes. Years ago, all they bullshit people, one hundred percent fake shit. The government bring to you. Yes, to put back the Titanic on the map. You might think in that, oh, they say five people dead, it couldn't be. A... No, it's about the Titanic, people. That's a devil shit they give you from day one. Why you think you're going to let you forget about it? No, they're probably going to make a new fresh movie about it. As a matter of fact, they are going to make the movie about the Titan crash trying to visit this Titanic. More movie for the dumb people. The uh, really? Russians took tourists out to the uh, to Listen, the Titanic, what uh, and it was just sort of a look and see thing. We really are focusing on the science mm -hmm. around it. We want to document science. what the wreck mm -hmm. is like now. Look and at his hand sign, people. He's behind this faker right here that they give the masses. He played the CEO, and I could have swear they say one of them is in there that responsible for that damn Titan. I don't know, people, but all of them fakers. Yes, and they basically fake the death of these so people. So try to predict what it'll be like in the future. Mm -hmm. It's continuing this. to decay, and it seems to be accelerating. It's being eaten by a bacteria, so it's literally being eaten wow. by the ocean. It's not rusting away. Mm -hmm. So these it's things... It's not rusting away, just be eaten by some bacteria in the water. Listen. They are called rusticles, are actually yeah, rusticles. The, the byproduct mm -hmm. of a bacteria that eats the iron. And as it does that, these these uh, decks are collapsing. The promenade deck continues to collapse forward. Uh, we saw some Why it didn't collapse under pressure, people? Why not? Why the pressure don't collapse it? You got to wait for some bacteria to eat it up. It's trash. And like I said, this put a nail in the coffin. Move. When a gun 
Humans are exploring the depths of the ocean. Safety isn't a game. Mm -hmm. So what is a cheap third-party PS3 controller doing inside of that missing submersible mm -hmm. everyone's talking about? Mm -hmm. And it's meant for a 16-year-old to throw it around. <laughs> a submersible <laughs> containing five passengers went missing on Sunday after diving down towards the famed wreckage of the uh, Titanic. The dive was overseen by Ocean Gate Expeditions mm -hmm. and accommodates one pilot and four paying civilians serving as mission specialists. Mm -hmm. This latest dive is part of an ongoing... Look at the submarine people. Look at the supposed thing that they went in. Look at it. Take a look. Mission specialists. Mm -hmm. this Take a look at this shit right here, people. What is that? That's not no submarine. Why would you take... Why would some rich people think that this is safe right here, people? Why? It's just a hoax. Why would they want to go down that deep in the water in this shit right here? Experiment. This trash. This dive as part of an ongoing survey of the Titanic. Of course. With the goal being to, quote, look. fully document and model... Look at all this glass on it, people. Look. Being to, quote, that? fully There's document no and model the wreck site uh -huh. before it completely decays. Uh -huh. According to Ocean Gate's official website. Mm -hmm. The missing submersible, which is named Titan, mm. also contains a gaming controller that has Listen. become an unexpected source of controversy. <laughs> taking a completely new approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller. The United States Coast Guard reported wow. on Twitter that the submersible lost contact with mm -hmm. the surface less than two hours into its dive on Sunday. So the before people, before it supposedly get to that depth, they lose contact with it. They never start the search then. They just report it missing. Is that real? Before the mission even, before they even get to the bottom of the ocean, people, they lose contact with it. They never start a search. They just report it missing and start talking about how many hours of oxygen they have left. Remember, they're supposed to be finding the wreckage next to the Titanic, the same place they drop it. They call it an implosion, meaning that it didn't explode. <laughs> it didn't explode. It crushed, basically. It exploded in. <laughs> All bullshit for the mass. Clock is ticking as the craft only has an air supply of yeah. approximately four days. Presuming know. Titan mm -hmm. is still intact, mm -hmm. search and rescue teams have until Thursday afternoon mm -hmm. to find and retrieve its occupants. Mm -hmm. Since news broke regarding the sub... Look what they're using, people. And you tell me what is this right there, people? What it look like to you? How did they keep this vessel straight up? They have no seat in it, only a toilet. How did they stop themselves from rolling over and flipping over the whole time in this submerged? You believe it, people? Move. Understand what it's like Listen. to be inside the Titan. We would like to talk to someone who has been there. Mm -hmm. Aaron Newman was a passenger on the submersible in 2021. Listen. He is also an investor in Ocean Gate. Aaron. Listen, people, this guy was actually in there before. He made this supposed be trip down there and he also invested in the supposed be Ocean Gate to take people to the Titanic. Let's watch. Take us inside. What What is it like to physically be inside there? Mm hmm. Well, uh, so I went down in uh, 2021. Uh, 2021, he'd been there. Look, the number six post up or the number nine upside down. You see that? All devil shit on TV. Remember I tell you, they have to show those coding up to the people watching, basically, that's a part of this shit right here so they can understand. The Hawks continue. In, in August, uh, mm -hmm. and and actually made the dive down and, mm -hmm. and saw the stern and made it made it back. Uh, now yeah, that, it is that. a Listen. you know it's a I like to say it's comfortable mm -hmm. but not luxurious, right? Yeah, There's room it's comfortable but not luxurious. Listen to move around. Look, uh, you have a glass not, right there. Uh, you're not walking Impression. around or anything, but it's you know and it's it's as as it's been. This is what they show you that this is how they can they come up with the footage. They put a camera right there next to this glass, but that glass would have to be real thick, people. I mean, thick that you can't see shit to it without, to a camera. You understand me? It'd have to be thick because the pressure going to bust it when they get under the bottom of the water. So with a thick, perplex type of glass right there, the camera can't see shit to it. What they show you for the Titanic, this camera can't take that photos and those videos. So hoax on. Uh, talked about you know when you're when you're at the bottom it, it can get pretty chilly down there and Why? it's uh, it's a lie you know it's uh, you know it's it's meant to take be. a look at them people they're supposed to be in there now in the submerge right there where they're showing you photos.
take a look. Uh, uh, you believe it? A vehicle that's huh. uh, designed to be as safe as possible. Really? So it doesn't have seats or anything like that as a ledge at the you end. That? It don't have seats like I tell you. The only seat in there is the toilet that he show you. How can you go into a vessel and to go to the middle of the water, in the bottom of the ocean, you're going to take you. It takes some hours to get there and you don't have no seat. Take you three hours to get back. What a dumb shit. Uh, and room to move around. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, it's mm -hmm. it's designed to, to take people down in the most efficient way possible. Look at this and shit. On the trip that the you took, what's, the, what's mm -hmm. the prep like? I mean, and, and obviously any vessel that you take Look, of any kind, really, one has to prepare wow. for things to go wrong. What were the preparations like? And was anything like this discussed? Mm-hmm. Well, so certainly you have multiple days as you're making the journey there, right? Mm -hmm. So you're with the whole team of people where you have multiple days to, to cover protocols, talk about the design of the ship, talk mm -hmm. about the history of the Titanic. So you're going through really an incredible learning process for multiple days before you would even get in the sub. So they, you know, they would cover, people. you know, the types of things like the drop weight systems. You know, one of the most important pieces of the of the uh the craft is is the the ability to drop those weights mm -hmm. which would allow you to gain back the kind of a positive buoyancy and float to the top so mm -hmm. that system is designed so this is all they're gonna do with people basically use weight to take you that deep in the water and then release the weight so you float back up to the surface you believe it people it's nothing but a hoax they got for the masses like i say nothing truthful about this fake shit and take a look at these people that supposedly be in the boat that went missing all of them is characters fakery and the masses some of them don't even exist don't doubt me bam speaking of james cameron another person yeah, listen people as you could see this fog about right here that made the titanic movie james cameron and of course he also visit the site of the titanic you believe it remember at the end of the movie supposedly they tell you that they actually show the Titanic boat. Real footage, as you could see right there. It's nothing but a hoax. And of course, the James Cameron have a lot to do with this fucking fakery. He's the one who give you the movie, supposedly, for you to believe, for you to convince that the Titanic is real. Pay attention. Closely familiar with the Titanic mm -hmm. is the director, James Cameron himself, mm -hmm. uh, along with his Oscar-winning movie. Um, yeah, of course Mr. it go have Oscar-winning and everything tied to it because it is fakery. That's one of them masterpiece Cameron, people. Cameron, I understand you've made a number of dives to the wreckage and of site, course, too. Just wow, give people, us your sense the on... The same thing that they're telling you scientists and them doing. Yes, James Cameron did. The movie director, yes, he actually go there as well. He made these dives in order to make the movie. You dumb? You better wake your ass up. The movie is a fucking fake shit based off fake shit. What you think? You believe the Titanic is there for real? James Cameron is a movie producer. He can go there? Get out of here. You're feeling right now, looking at these images mm -hmm. of the shipwreck that no you image. studied so closely. Fake shit. And now hearing that another tragedy mm -hmm. has been tied to the same area. Watching people, black and white Freemasonry. Well, I've been mm -hmm. down there many times. And I know the wreck site very yes. well, as, as does my friend uh, mm -hmm. Bob Ballard. Watch him. I've been made 33 dives. I actually. Bam. They make 33 dives there already. Right there on the damn money. You believe it? It's fake shit. Like I said, don't trust no movie people making your movies off real shit. I don't watch movies that based off real story. That means it's fucking fakery and brainwash for you. You understand? Don't watch nothing that based off true story. You want to know if you were slave, so you watch those movies that they make of slave. You want to know about the Holocaust, so you watch a Holocaust movie. All of them shits is fakery. 100 percent that i spent more time on the ship than the captain did mm -hmm. listen back in the day mm -hmm. um and of course uh you know as a submersible designer myself i designed mm -hmm. and yeah, that people, built a sub yeah that people he didn't design and make subs it's supposed to be james cameron that make the movie people can you believe it what a dumb shit for the masses he make the supposed to be titanic movie now he's a professional and and supposed to be submerged and submarines it is garbage. Like I say, they got busted right here on the bit of truth. I ain't going to go no more in it. You already see what's going on. It's just a show for the masses. So don't be thinking that those five people actually missing the Titan went to go see a fake shit. They call it Titanic. 
Yeah, another Mag Bam Sunday, man. Appreciate everybody for taking it in. I'm on the run.